Many have stumbled over the mystery of following rules and a just-do-it approach to teaching and learning. Nowhere in math has so much understanding been lost and replaced with rules than with the teaching of integers for beginning algebra. Pre-algebra for visual learners is designed to demonstrate the how and the why behind the rules of integers. To begin with, you need to understand that a tile with a button is a positive and a tile without a button is a negative. And so we have a positive 3 and a negative 3. And when we combine these together, this is called a zero pair of 3's because when they combine, we have an answer that is a zero. And we actually set up every problem in the book as zero pairs for two reasons. For one, it has the students solve the problems the same way every time so that they do not make simple mistakes. The other reason is that it demonstrates some of the most difficult rules of pre-algebra. For example, we teach them that when they take away a positive, it is the same thing as adding in a negative. We also teach them that when they take away a negative, it is the same thing as adding in a positive. For visual learners, these are some of the most difficult rules to understand and comprehend and actually put into place with their work. And so the tiles and the buttons actually will demonstrate where these rules came from and why they work the way they do. So starting with our zero pairs, I have the problem zero plus zero, but what I want to write is a negative five plus a positive three. So when I open my zero pair of fives, I have to determine which is the negative five, the one without the buttons. And since I want to keep this, I have to get rid of the other piece, otherwise it will always return to its state as a zero pair. So when I take away the positive five, it is the same thing as saying, add in the negative five. That's our first, first rule with integers. Taking away our positive five was the same thing as adding in our negative five. The next rule says, or step in the problem says to add in a positive three. So when I open my zero pair of threes, the positive three is the one with the buttons. And since this is the part that is to be written into the problem, the other part, the negative, has to go away again because if it stays, it will return to its state as a zero. So when I take away the negative three, it is the same thing as saying, add in a positive three. And again, this is our next rule that we teach them. Taking away a negative is the same thing as adding in a positive. Now the problem has been written with the tiles, a negative five plus a positive three. When we combine those two things together, you'll see that the answer becomes a negative two. Now if I change this problem instead of from addition, I change it to subtraction, I'll show you the reason why all subtraction problems have to become addition. And we're going to use our zero pair to demonstrate that. Again, starting with zeros, I have zero minus zero, but what I want to create is the problem a negative five minus a negative three. Opening my zero pair of fives, again, we have to determine which is the negative five, the one without the buttons. If this is to stay, the other goes away. So when I take away the positive, it is the same thing as saying, add in the negative. The next step in the problem, I'm going to actually follow exactly as it's written, using the operator as my guide. This operator says to take away the negative three. So the one without the buttons is the one I take away, the negative three. So when I actually take away the negative, what in turn I'm doing is I'm adding in what's remaining. I'm adding in the positive three. This is why every subtraction problem has to become addition because in this case we have removed one part of the zero pair and what's left we have to add back in. And so when we solve the problem by combining the two numbers together, you'll see that our answer continues to be a negative two. We've written the same problem two different ways. One is an addition and the other is subtract. Two other concepts that can be demonstrated very effectively with the tiles and buttons is multiplication and division of integers. For now, I'll just show you an example of multiplication. Here I have the problem, two, two times three equals x. The problem here is that I've written this or said this number as if it belongs on the number line by calling this a two. When in reality the first number in multiplication does not belong on the number line, instead it represents quantity. So for visual learners I should be teaching them to read this as two groups of positive three. And using the tiles and buttons I can show them what I mean. Two groups of positive three looks like this. So when I combine them together you see the answer is obviously a positive six. So if I change this instead of a positive three to a two groups of negative three, we can show them that two groups of negative three looks like this, and when you combine them together, the answer is obviously a negative six. This makes more sense than memorizing that a positive times a negative is a negative, because in reality, calling this a positive two is a false statement. 
It does not belong on the number line, therefore it does not have a positive or a negative value. So what happens then when this looks as if it has a negative value? We start looking at it as a negative and we call it a negative, but instead the minus in front should be read as the opposite of. So this statement is now read as the opposite of two groups of positive three. Forgetting the opposite of for just a moment, two groups of positive three looks like this. And our answer is a positive six. But the opposite of a positive six is a negative six. And again, it holds the rule to be true, that a negative times a positive is a negative. And if this, instead of being a positive three, is a negative three, it's the opposite of two groups of negative three. Forgetting this for a moment, two groups of negative three is a negative six, but the opposite of a negative six is a positive six. When rules replace understanding, those who ask why stop learning. Using pre-algebra for visual learners, the why is readily seen, concepts come alive, understanding replaces rules, and learning takes place.